Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In today's video, we're gonna learn this C major worm gap exercise, what you should know. And uh, yes, I think you should know these exercises because the more exercise you know, the more time you can spend with your guitar. Let's jump into the tutorial. So for this exercise, we're gonna use only the C major scale and only the notes from the C major scale. So the first triad, what we should play, it's a C major triad. So C note will be the first on the A3 and the second note will be the seventh fret on the A string. After we're gonna uh, play the fifth on the D string fifth fret. And after the octave, which gonna be the G string fifth fret. So three, seven on the A string, five on the D, five on the G. This is a C major triad. The next notes are uh, gonna be the major seven note. So gonna be the B note on the G string fourth fret. After the fifth again, so fifth on the D string. After the third again, which is the A string seventh fret. And we're gonna add the second, which is a color note on the A string fifth fret. So from the top, three, seven on the A, five, five on the D and the G, four on the G, five on the D, seven on the A, five on the A, and C. There are gonna be two pull-offs each time when we play a chord, so, from the octave, so G string 5th fret, I pulled off to the 4th fret on the same G string. And when I come back from the 2nd, from the D, 5th fret on the A string, I also pull off to the C. Okay, the next chord what we're gonna play is a D minor chord, D minor triad at first. So they're gonna be a guide note between these two chords. So C major triad. After I play it again. After I play a C sharp, which is a fourth fret on the A string, which is gonna be a guide note to the D minor. So the second chord is a D minor 7. The first note is going to be the 5th fret on the A string, 8th fret on the A string, 7 on the D, 7 on the G. After we're going to add the 7, so 5th fret on the G, 7 on the D, 8 on the A, and we're going to add again the second, which is a color note, 7th uh, fret on the A string and pull off to the 5th fret on the same A string. So we're gonna have pull offs basically on the G string each time and on the low and on the A string. So pull off here on the G string, pull off here on the A string. After D minor, on the G string there is a pull off again, and on the A string there is a pull off again. Here, here. After the D minor chord, there are gonna be another guide note, uh, which will be a D sharp or E flat to the E minor chord. So the third part of this exercise will be the E minor part. So seventh fret on the A string, 10 on the A string. After we add the fifth of the chord, so D string 9th fret and G string 9th fret, which is gonna be the octave. After pull off, actually this is the same what we played uh, here. So pull off to the 7th fret from the 9. After the after the 9 on the D, 10 on the A, 
and we're gonna add a flat 9 to this chord which is a color note so F note 8th fret on the A string and pull up to the 7th fret on the A string Okay, so from the top it sounds like this. When I played I just realized that there is a slide between two chords, so when you play the guide note is a C sharp at the beginning you have to slide up to the D from the C sharp so from the fourth fret to the fifth fret here is the guide note C sharp fourth fret on the A and we slide up to the fifth fret on the A string here's the guide note so the sixth fret on the A string slide up to the seventh fret the same slide up to the F note this is gonna be the fourth part of um, this exercise here we're gonna play a C major 7 chord the fingering gonna be the same uh, as the C major 7 here so 8 fret on the A string 12 fret on the same A string after 10 on the D 10 on the G After pull off to the 9th fret on the G, 10th fret on the D, 12 on the A, and here are gonna be the second, which is a color note again, 10th um, fret on the A string, and pull off to the 8th fret on the A string. This is gonna be the next guide note to the next chord, which is gonna be a G7 chord. So the guide note will be on the D string, 6th fret, and we have to slide down to the 5th fret on the D string. Here we're gonna play, here we're gonna play a G7 chord. So after the guide note, the first note will be the 5th fret on the D, 9 on the D. After 7 on the G, 8 on the B. Pull off to the 6th fret on the B string, 7 on the G, 9 on the D, and here we're gonna have the same color note, uh, which is the 7th fret on the D string. And pull off to the root, which is a G here, 5th fret on the D. Okay, the next guide note will be a G sharp or A flat to the next chord, which will be an A minor 7 chord. We're gonna talk about the chords on the C major scale on another, in a separate video. So, the next guide note, G sharp, so 6th fret on the D. So, A minor 7. 7 on the D, 10 on the D, 9 on the G, 10 on the B. Pull off to the 8th fret on the B, 9 on the G, 10 on the D, 9 on the D, and pull off to the 7 on the D. Okay, the next guide note is gonna be an A sharp or B flat. So, 8th fret on the D string. Here we're gonna play a B half diminished chord. So, 9th fret on the D, 12 on the D. After 10 on the G string, and the next note is gonna be the 12 on the B. 
after this you have to pull down the 12 on the B to the 10 on the B. Play the same on the G, so 10 on the G, 12 on the D, 10 on the D, and pull off to the 9 on the D. We arrive to the ending, so when you play second time, the B half diminished. You don't have to play the 10 on the D. So after the 12 on the D, you have to play the 9 on the D. And we're gonna finish this exercise with a C major pattern. So, so from the 9, we have to play the 10 on the D. After we're gonna play guide notes. So after the 10 on the D, 9 on the A string, 10 on the A string, 6 on the A, 7 on the A, 7 on the low E, and 8 on the low E. If you plug the D, the G, and the B string together, it's gonna be a C major 7-9. It's gonna be a beautiful open sounded C major 7 and 9. So let's play the whole exercise from the top slowly. One and two and three and four and So this was the whole exercise. I hope you found this exercise useful. I hope you will practice this. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. You will find a link in the description if you would like to download the tab from my Patreon page and by doing that support my work. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.